Eli Manning, an elite quarterback. Are you a top five, top ten quarterback? Yeah, and uh, I, I think uh, I am. I'm not a 25 interception quarterback. I know that. Are you in the Tom Brady class? Are you in that type of quarterback? Yeah, I mean, I, I consider myself in, in that in that class. And on first down where was coming off the edge this one's for Shockey what a pass what a throw by Eli Manning dropped it in beautifully for a 22 yard completion unbelievable one of the best throws I've ever seen Eli Manning make I mean this ball is just right down the stovepipe Watch this one by Eli off his back foot. This is the one that got him out of the hole. That's a strong arm throw right there. I tell you, he has made some throws today. Couldn't have been in a more perfect spot right here. It's a laser from Eli Manning and a good route. And, you know, the coverage wasn't bad, but the strike from Eli Manning was just perfect. Just perfect, right on the hands. First down, Manning gets time, going outside oh. to Hagen, <laughs> and he's out of bounds. Well, and that is just a rocket right there. That's an NFL arm, and that's why Eli was drafted where he was drafted. That being Derek Hagen, and then Eli threads the needle in between the corner and the safety. Trouble. Ratliff can't bring him down. Pass is caught by Bradshaw. How about Manning staying up as Ratliff couldn't bring him to the ground? I think I saw that play a yeah. little version of it or a bigger version of it in the Super Bowl a few years ago. But a good job by Chris Johnson of staying with him. It's just an absolutely perfect pass from Eli Manning and a good job of focusing on the football. You just can't possibly do it any better than that. Watch Eli Manning. He's going to step up. He's got everything's breaking down around him. Watch the throw on the move. Hey, 
this is about as well a thrown ball as you can have. You have to lay this ball on the sideline. You can see Terrell Brown, the angle that he had. If that ball was anything other than where it was, it's a good chance that one's intercepted. There's nothing you can do. Watch it. It's one-on-one -on -one coverage with safety help over the top. Two deep man under, and Eli just says, nod to the outside. I'll give you a chance. You can't drop the football in there any better. Mike, those are great wow. throws. <laughs> Bradshaw in the backfield, this one is flipped and caught for the touchdown, Knicks. A perfect throw by Eli Manning. That's a big-time throw right there by Eli Manning. Nice route by Cruz, but Eli Manning, that's a long way to have to throw that ball. And he was able to put it right on the money with pressure, barreling down on him in the pocket. Well, it's excellent coverage as well by Chris Owens. I mean, they run the skinny post. It's just a perfectly thrown ball by Eli Manning. You see the coverage. There was only one place that he could put that. It's a pass. It's a passing National Football League. The rules dictate. They've made it so much easier to throw. Second and two. Tight end right down the seam, and look at that perfect pass from Manning. Jamie Winborn can't keep up with Boss, and you cannot deliver a football any better than that. About as good as you're going to get out of Eli Manning. A horrible snap, finds his slot receiver, Victor Cruz escapes pressure, throws off balance. Saints rushing three, dropping eight. On third and one, Manning's throw from Knicks on the sideline. About the throw. <laughs> uh, sorry for getting excited yeah. back home, but that was one of the better throws I've seen. Eli Man pushes up in the pocket, and you cannot throw a football any better than that. Trust me. Boy, that's a handoff about 30 yards down the field on the money.
I am not sure how Eli got that ball in there. Directly over the top of Brandon Spikes. Right in the middle of the path. better than that. That had to be perfect, Tom, because Morris Claiborne was in perfect position. This is a long throw. I mean, he was driving on that ball. And but it's a heck of a throw by Eli Manning. Chris Campbell does a good job on the release. I mean, that ball is just placed in an area where nobody but Mario Manningham is going to catch it. That was a heck of a throw by Eli. He's going to make the out, and you talk about threading the ball in there. Eli Manning threaded it in there perfectly. And there's the throw that the Giants have been waiting for from Eli Manning. I think too many times we judge Eli's performance based on numbers as opposed to whether or not he wins and loses football games. And obviously this game's a long way from being over. Well, it was a really nice throw as well. I mean, that was that was great coverage there by Brian McCann. I mean, all Eli did was just lay it out there because it didn't look like there was any chance. on the outside but Eli Manning's the one that really sets it up gets pressure from the inside and now Terrence Newman is expecting Eli to be throwing from the pocket it is the angle of this throw as much as anything that really beats Terrence Newman with Manning and Manningham has been good all day. That's as good as it gets right there. This is so good. Eli Manning, I mean, great coverage. You, you, can't, you can't cover that any better than Dimitri Patterson did. It's just great timing.
believe that throw. It's too deep man under. There's a lot of Redskins trying to fool Eli. But how about the throw? You can't drop this football in there any better on third and ten. Wow. <laughs> That's a great Oof. throw. in the zone right now, Goose. He is absolutely in the zone. Eli Manning pumps and looks off. But another perfectly thrown pass. Great throw by Eli Manning. You know, sometimes you, you throw it away from the defender. And that's exactly what he did here. It's not so much two tumor, but he threw it where there's no way the defender could get it. And Eli leads him outside. When I saw this ball halfway there, I'm going, how can it possibly be completed? Eli threw it just the, the only place where it could have been caught and away from Finnegan. A perfect throw by Eli Manning. doesn't look like much, but Eli Manning again just understands exactly where his outlet guys are. Eli is being so accurate. He puts it right onto the hands again of Dominic Hickson in stride. Yeah, another excellent job, really, by Eli Manning because the Packers were disguising what they were doing. They pulled out underneath where he was initially going to go with the ball, and because he steps up, he works the pocket, he comes back, really a nice throw. Outside the pocket and just putting the ball perfectly along that sideline and I mean he has made some great throws in this ball game here today. What a great throw from Eli Manning. He senses the pressure. He's going to peel out to the right. Now watch this laser shot right in front of the hands of Byron Westbrook who tried to undercut the route. And Hagen is able to hang on to it. I can't tell you how good that throw is from Eli Manning on the run.
talk about putting a ball in a tight spot. There's not a lot of margin for error for that throw. I mean, he puts it perfectly right on the hand. Watch where Eli Manning's able to put this throw. Anything less than a perfect throw there could very easily have been intercepted by Asante Samuel.
the Eagles. Ten touchdowns, no picks. Third and ten. Big play for the Jacksonville defense. Blitz Eli Manning at your own risk. Third down and 11, blitz, pass, caught. safety blitz but you talk about a quarterback having to stand in there watch Eli here here comes a free rusher he moves a little to his right moves up and then throws a perfect strike Just outstanding eye manipulation. Looks off to the right because he knows he's going to come back left. That play wasn't on, but Eli uh, actually, uh, you know, audible to the play. And, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a great audible by him, and nobody was in there, and it was a magnificent throw. Blitz and they caught. Manning throws and has a completion to Cruz for another Giants first down.
Second and three, Manning adjusts to this play, a slant to Nix. Eli saw single coverage, just a simple slant route to your left. Eli sees the single safety coverage. He changes the protection, changes the route, throws another pinpoint strike. Giants have gained 182 yards in the game, Dallas 10. Well, Eli saw this double barrel blitz coming. It looked like both inside backers were coming, and he backed up. Trying to go outside at the last minute, he gets the pressure, and, and that's just good pocket presence by Eli Manning, knowing exactly where he can go with the football to avoid the sack. Blitz, Manning fires from Burris. Roselio Hansen is on the coverage, and when they brought the blitz, Manning looked right at Burris. Watch Eli Manning's eyes here. He's going to realize he's got the single coverage on the outside. He sees it. But now he's going to look down the field and to the left a little bit. He knows all the way. He's just holding that safety in the middle of the field. It was a great throw by Eli Manning, too, to give him a chance. He threw that way before Ballard even came out of the break. under duress, anticipated, had to throw this ball early. The uh, Giants are looking to look at capitalize in a hurry on that weed interception. Eli changed it every time up at the line. from the very beginning and knew exactly where to go. But Eli read it easy, perfect, perfect. great poise in the pocket, delivered a strike. Yeah, but it's an all-out blitz. They're coming after Eli. And he just stands in there and trusts his veterans to pick this up. He knew he had one guy to beat. And he just made a fadeaway throw right there, John. Watch him turn his body as he throws this football. That's a no-look pass that is really hard to do.
you know, he feels that he's not appreciated around the league, or but he has really played well for, for really all the teams he's been a part of. He sees the pressure coming. He knows he has one-on-one one -on -one coverage on his backside. And the ball is thrown perfectly. He finds the one-on-one -on -one coverage against Patrick Robinson. And you can't throw this any better, Ron. You know, Eli thought he had the man coverage going, so he goes to that Super Bowl play. Remember that one? Plexico Burris, the little sluggo, the slant and go. On this drive. Third down and seven. Another blitz. Manning throws and completes for another first down. Three for three on third down. Blitzing Eli Manning, and here it comes off the edge. It just, he's so quick to read it, identify it, and make the right decision. Saw it against the Jets last week, and we're seeing it again here tonight. Second down and ten. Eli is remarkable. Watch this throw. He is so off balance making this throw. Pressure in his face, off his front foot, leaning. It's like a fadeaway jumper or something in basketball. No way he can get this much on this throw with people all over his feet. Silent guy. Eli does a great job of identifying. Look at his eyes. He's always looking at the linebacker, seeing any information he can pick up on who's blitzing, who's dropping, who's in the one-on-one -on -one man coverage. That's all film study.
Watch how Eli hangs in here. The pocket's starting to collapse, step up slide right in the face of everything. You deliver that pass for the first down. We essentially broke into calling the fight. No. That's ridiculous. But you have to give another assist to quarterback Eli Manning. You hear him up here yelling opposite, opposite, opposite. He's going to run the ball opposite where all the guys are. And there is less defenders on the right side. The communication by Chris Snee, Will Beatty on that right side is excellent. Check out Eli Manning with the point here. He's going to tell Victor Cruz, yeah, right over there. There you go. Hits Namdi Asamoah, turned around just like he did in the first game. You, you can't play quarterback better than Eli Manning did on that drive. see Eli Manning look to the left before he came back to Plexico Burris who was running an in. Open receivers. Watch Eli look to his right, or to his left, I should say, and just find Marcel Marcellus Bennett.
but he reads the coverage. He knows he's got Hagen matched up against Reed Dowdy. Reads the coverage, cross information quickly. Looking down the field and then to his right, he works all the way back then to Victor Cruz. And if Eli Manning has time in the pocket like he just had, he will get to every receiver on the route. He is excellent at being able to go through his progression and what a throw he made on that play. Stafford uh, helping out Drew Stanton on the bench. First down up to 43. Boy, Eli Manning is on fire. They are torching this Dallas Cowboys secondary. Did you see this even in the Super Bowl year? I mean, Manning looks like he's at another level than when you were his teammate. Not he's a drop back. I used to hold my breath. I'll be honest with you. Now I'm breathing. Fletcher's in great position. Eli throws him open to the back shoulder. Eli Manning stepping up and moving away from additional pressure. To me, this is the biggest difference in Eli Manning's game. The little movement within the pocket, the feeling the pressure, but keeping his eyes down the field and coming up with big completions.
He audibles to a weak side run, and there goes your 265 pounds. Watch it. Boss comes over here. He sees the strong safety rotate. Let's audible to a weak side run and give the ball to our big back. That's just good heads-up football by Eli Manning. an understatement. Ahmad Bradshaw in for the injured Brandon Jacobs. Two tight ends, second down and five. Perfectly placed ball by Eli. First year guy at a Fresno State. It's impressive. 
caught the first pass of the game. And Kevin Booth got up to the second level as well. Here, the Redskins check out. And Manning throws to Manningham. Touchdown, Giants. But Eli at the line of scrimmage, it's always about working, identifying the protection scheme. Now he's going to take a shot down the field. Look at the focus. The minute he caught the ball, look at the eyes locate downfield where he wanted to go. With. After the game. <laughs> man, you're tough. Man, man, man. What Brian Erlocker oh, say? Oh, oh, Giants fans, third down. So in pressure, here comes six guys, open underneath Victor Cruz. Blitz is going to be coming right off your right side. Eli says, go ahead, I'll just throw it before coverage can get there. Nice job. that they're going to be able to dictate a lot of the tempo of these defensive units they'll face in the future. Next week, the Giants open up. Yeah, and Eli really handling the line of scrimmage very well. He's taking his time. He's able to see. They brought Rondé Barber off the edge, but he knew it was coming. And he also knew that they were going to be able to pick it up. And, and so because he was as patient as what he was, he made Tampa Bay declare immediately as to what they were going to do. see the safety right here in the middle of the field watches Eli Manning after he gathers the ball he's looking he wants to go left that gets him out of the middle of the field he trusts him week one versus Arizona he anticipates Shockey's route and he makes the throw before he has to turn his head inside the red zone have led to three Giants points and seven Cowboys points. Play action. Middle. Touchdown Manningham.
pounding the box. They're looking at right here. You can see there's too many folks right here. He wants to throw the ball unless as he checks, they come out of it and bluff him out of it. This look right here would say pass all the way. First down. Actually, nice check by Eli Manning. I said it had pass written all over it. You had all these folks over in here, so he just tosses to the outside. It's a nice run call against a stacked box. They're bringing the blitz, get a little bit of pressure there, right into Eli's face again with Sean Weatherspoon. Nice job by Eli not buying the fact that they were coming with the blitz here. You've got Elam here who's going to run out of this thing. Initially, there's no way Eli was going to run that play that way. But he studied so much film, I think he understood they were overloaded there. Elam was going to run out. He stayed with the run that side. That's just brilliant quarterback play. Now, some may look at this throw and say, well, not a real good throw because Shockey had to go down for it. In reality, that's where the receiver wants it. You Their own 11 yard line, 10 19 to go in the third quarter. Eli going to work now, changing the play. They changed the coverage. It looked like one of those two man coverages, and I think Eli checked to a play for that. See the throw there by Eli Manning. Guy's just playing with great confidence right now. A little better than that. Now the Patriots, you have to play a little bit more high risk here because you've got to try and knock them out. Second down and eight. Manning chewing up the clock, already in field goal range. Here comes the blitz. He gets it away. It is caught by Nixon. He takes the ball to the 18-yard line, and that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Great read by Eli Thorn right behind the blitz. That was brilliant. Here he goes again. Big finish ahead in Super Bowl 46.
to the Meadowlands, home of the New York Giants. And today it begins. Eli Manning, his first NFL start. The top pick in this past year's draft takes on the Atlanta Falcons, rolling at 7-2. Giants come in with a record of five and four, right in the middle of the playoff push in the NFC. Play action, Manning swings it out to Rivers, and Marcellus Rivers has the Giants first down. Well, Eli Manning, even though he's a rookie, he's a pretty savvy guy. You heard him at the line of scrimmage that time saying opposite, opposite, which basically meant that he could have taken that bootleg either way. He saw the defense adjust to the strong side. He comes out to the weak side of the bootleg and hits a big play. Play action for Manning. Looks back across the field and it's Toomer. Not being able to make the catch, Jason Webster with the hit after the ball got there. And it's really fun to watch Eli Manning, for a guy as young as he is, go front side, back side. He looked to the front side, was looking for Shockey, comes back side to Toomer. That's just a good defensive play, not a drop on that one as they come in and break that one up. But you can see how relaxed Eli is getting now as he is progressing from read to read. Unfortunately, there's just not anybody open. Well, he's done that pretty consistently throughout this game. So what that tells you is he's got a good understanding of what he's wanting to do within this offensive scheme. Archie Manning looked like he was in pain watching this. As Eli Manning buys time and flips it to Walker. Great play That's for a Giants first down. Eli just drew the rusher to him out of coverage and then flipped it over his head. Very savvy play for a young man. Yeah, Eli Manning certainly not the most mobile guy, but as Peyton Manning will tell you, he said he's the most athletic of us two. And Eli Manning gets out on the edge, and he does. He brings the rush up to him. And then Tiki Barber able to sneak in behind it and not been able to do that this year. Third down and four. First down for New York. See how big of a part of this Giants offense he is on the sideline. Third down and 12 for New York. This will be on Atlanta as a penalty flag comes in. And there's Shockey with a first down. Fighting inside the 30. Brady Smith came across early. Really good pocket presence there by Eli Manning. He gets pressure on the outside because of the early jump by Brady Smith. Without him. Third down and eight. The first down inside the 15. They'll mark him at the 13. And Eli Manning is getting hot. And what did he tell us coming into the game, Joe? He said, I want to make good decisions and I want to get the ball out of my hands quickly. You watch him get back and get set up. He hits his back step and the ball's gone right there with pressure in his face. He's able to find Amani Toomer. Amani's barely out of his break and the ball's on him. Great anticipation by Eli Manning. Every week. Second down and goal. Manning over the middle. That's his first touchdown, and it's Shockey. Shockey became his favorite target on the possession. And Archie Manning with a Giants hat on looks a little better now as New York has taken a bite out of the Falcons' lead. Well, watch shot. He's going to start to the outside and then back underneath on the route. Does a good job of running that off the linebacker. Of course, it's a tight fit. And Eli had to stay. 
stick that one on him. Well, it was payback for Jeremy Shockey. Remember, Chris Draft got his hands on him, stumped him earlier in the drive. That time, juked him out and made the touchdown. The first touchdown for Eli Manning, and it's a 14-7 Atlanta lead. Manning was impressive, 78,793. We'll be able to truthfully say they were at Giants Stadium when Eli Manning made his NFL debut as a starter. For the ball, he then gave it to Shockey. Shockey came over to the bench and right in front of Eli pretended like he was going to throw it up in the stands. It ended up in the hands of the equipment manager, Ed Wagner, who is with me now. He's got that special ball. It's marked. It's going to go in the equipment case there, and it'll be, I guess, put in some special place in the Manning household. All right, Pam. Thank you very much. Giants. Manning fires and he's got Toomer. And Amani Toomer is brought down right at the marker. You know, First one down. Of the, excuse me, Joe. One of the things that happens when you're a young quarterback is there a tendency to stare down the receiver, and that's what leads to a lot of interceptions. Watch Eli Manning as he knows exactly where he's going with the ball. He starts out looking a little to his left to try to hold linebackers from getting underneath that curl route. Comes right back to Amani Toomer underneath. And you can tell as we've talked about how quickly the ball gets on these receivers. Nick was lucky he held on to that football. He took a shot right in the back. And this game's going to end as it should with Eli Manning with two minutes to go and an opportunity to make his mark in the National Football League. Two minutes left. Giants about to get it back. Trailing by four with one timeout left. Penalty against the Atlanta Falcons. yardage after making the catch went backward. If that ball's low and away, it's an easy completion for Jeremy Shockey. Third down and ten. Manning fires. The pass completes. It's obviously four down time and it's Hilliard on the reception. But he can't clock the ball here, Joe, because it is fourth down. He has to call it here at the line of scrimmage and he's got to call something that'll get him a first down. Might be a run to take. And he fires. It's incomplete. The Falcons will take over. And the Atlanta Falcons, as Brooking makes the play, will move to eight and two. Keith Brooking absolutely set up Eli Manning on that one. He knew exactly what Manning was going to do. He allowed him to think that Shockey was open on the play, was just playing possum behind him. And as soon as he wound up, you're going to see him break right in front of Jeremy Shockey. He sees this all the way, no problem at all, an outstanding play on back-to-back -back coverages by Keith Brook. Well, and on fourth and four, I mean, he knew that they were going to try to get to the chains, turn around and get the ball. He never got even into a back battle as a result of it. He knew they were going to try to go to Shockey. He sits on the route and makes the play. Eli Manning, Chris, called that debut disappointing. The usual harsh media was willing to shine and smile on the debut of Eli Manning. The Giants will start with a football. That means we'll get an early look at Eli Manning. I agree. I thought he was impressive last week for a guy with his first start. Great job of Eli recognizing man coverage, which allowed him to be able to pick up the yardage that he got. He'll put it up on second and ten. And Eli goes deep. Jamar Taylor. Jamar Taylor, he dropped it right in. And Taylor is down near the 11. What a throw by Eli Manning. It could not have been better.
left. And Eli Manning's going to go down the middle of the field. Taylor again. Jamar Taylor stays on his feet, is down inside the five. Well, again, good protection in this game by both offensive lines. Eli Manning drops back, gets rid of the football, and he really throws it in a great spot, which allows Jamar Taylor to run away from the defender. You see Lito Shepard in coverage, but because of the throw, he cannot make a play on the ball. But then you talk to his teammates. Strahan said, it's Eli's team. It's not my team anymore. It's Eli's team. Tiku Barber said he showed how well he can do this year, not five years from now, but this year. With a minute 41 to play, the Giants trail by three. The season was about to end with another setback. The Giants needed a touchdown to win the game. They needed to march 66 yards to get it. And they needed Eli Manning to lead the way. 16 seconds to go. Giants out of timeouts. They trail by three. Signals. Now checks off at the line. Cage of the play. Play clock down to five. Manning takes the snap, drops back, gives the bottom, running left, touchdown Giants! How about that drive by Eli? What a gutty call. If he doesn't score a touchdown there, they might not get the field goal off. Giants defense and two New York timeouts got the ball back in Eli's hands. Manning turned a one-minute drill into a two-play drive. His touchdown tied the game at 13 with 19 seconds left and ultimately sent the game into overtime. Uh, when the pressure's on, you, you, you need touchdowns. You need a couple drives to get back in the game. And, and one of my first ones was in 2005 versus Denver. He's got to come through in a big way. You see the soft coverage by Denver on third and four. Huge situation. Eli looks right. Nothing there. Now he's going to buy a little time in the pocket. Moves out of the pocket. Uh-oh. Can't get that one. Gets rid of the football. What a great throw to Plexico Burst to move the chains. Again, soft coverage by Denver on his first and ten. Eli's got a little hank route from Amani Toom. In other words, going to sit down right over the ball. Stares him down, throws it in there for a seven-yard gain. First and ten. He's going to look over that side again, looking for Amani. He's well covered. He comes off him. The secondary receiver hits Tiki Barber for nine yards. He's got the Giants rolling now. Here you see Tumor in the slot once again in his first and ten. Stares him down, delivers the ball. Another nine-yard gain for the Giants. Third and ten. This is huge right here. Look at the pressure on Eli. Ah, there's Poise in the pocket. Steps up, delivers a strike to Jeremy. Oh. Me shocking. Inside the 10. Now it's second and eight. Little slip screen into Tiki Barber. Oh, it looks like he's going to score, but John Lynch comes up and makes the play. Uh, it's the last play of the game. Fasten your seatbelt. Broncos by six. Ten oh. seconds to go. Manning over center. Calling signals. Takes the snap, drops back, blitzes on, Barber gets it, Manning drifts, goes to the end zone, touchdown! Amani Tumor! Manning being mobbed on the Giants sideline! He should be. Eli 
is going to drop back in the pocket. He's feeling pressure. Drifts back. Drifts back. By in time. Look at this throw on his back foot. Two guys in his face. But look at the strong arm able to deliver that oh. football to Amani Tumor. So 58 seconds remain, and the Giants will have it at their own 20. No timeouts left, down by three. Manning, a long throw, and he completes it to Amani Toomer. And it is first down for the Giants. Manning in trouble. Gets rid of it over the middle of the field and caught by Carter. Wow. All the way down to the 40-yard line. <laughs> Under 20 seconds to go. Manning clocks it with 15 seconds to go. Unbelievable. The, th the throw that he has made in previous years that they have wanted to take out of his repertoire was throwing the ball up for grabs when you're in the hands of a defender now watch he holds it he had some time and then he gets pressure there on him and he threw it up and what a play. That would be roughly the 37 38 yard line they're already at the 40 15 seconds left. Well and he cannot take a sack. Wide open as Shockey underneath. He gets the Giants into field goal range with a catch. And just like that, the Giants have come all the way back to tie it at 24. And I'll tell you, Joe, that field goal wasn't automatic either. Eli Manning, even last year when he struggled, had showed the ability to bring his team down the field at the end of games. his back foot up for grabs for Burris and Plexico Burris has given the Giants their first win of the year. Eli Manning threw it up off his back foot and Plexico Burris was there waiting for the catch, the touchdown and the victory for New York. Eli just threw it up and let's say it again ordinary at best throughout the majority of this game and in the fourth quarter Troy the turnaround within the game for Eli Manning and some of the throws he made very impressive in bringing the Giants their win. As they trail by seven. Tenth play of this drive. First and 15. False start, number 66. Five yard penalty remains. First down. First and 20. This time it's Snee. Number 76. Five yard penalty. Still, first down. It's quick. No excuse for jumping, but that is some of the reasoning as to why it's happening. Manning on first and 20 sets up a screen. Penalty flag comes in on the play. Holding, number, holding, number 76. 10 yard penalty remains first down. So Snee, 13 yard line for a first down. It's first and 30. Second and 30. Blitz from the Eagles. Considine coming. The pass for Burris. Plexico Burris makes the catch. 
Well, what a great job by Eli Manning. He gets criticized for a lot of these types of throws, but it's one that he had to make to give his team an opportunity. But on the back end of that, Plexico burst balls out now. Good coverage there by Sheldon Brown. First down, New York. The ball at the 11. Eli Manning over the middle. Touchdown, Burris. And Eli Manning answers the call with the extra point coming. A chance to tie it as Manning overcomes a second down and 30 to get his Giants into the end zone. Let's talk for a minute about Eli Manning. Here's a guy who you still have to consider being on the upswing. He just turned 26 this week. However, for the first pick in the draft in 2004, he fizzled down the stretch last year, had a terrible playoff game against Carolina, hadn't done much prior to this drive, getting his team down the field into the end zone. This is an opportunity to make a statement on the part of Eli Manning because frankly the Giants have expected more and the guys picked behind him whether it's Roethlisberger who's won a Super Bowl or Phillip Rivers who's part of maybe the most dangerous team in the NFL the Chargers they've passed him by to this point. Well, there's been a lot of pressure on him as there is with any quarterback in this league. I know this that careers are made by what you do in postseason play and for him in that situation with an opportunity to tie the ball game up to overcome second and 30 with some key plays I think when you look back over his his short career up to this point the times when he has seemed to play his best football has been the times when it seems like there's the least amount of hope for this football team catch by Plexico Burris and a good throw by Eli Manning keeping that one down I mean you get down in this part of the field with good coverage by Charles Tillman and to put the ball low to where only Plexico Burris was gonna be able to make this catch it's a real nice throw right there let me ask you we have seen I think you and I have been on the same page thinking that it looked like they were being very conservative at times in this game with the play calling because of Eli Manning's struggles the last two weeks. He had a good drive the last possession. He threw the touchdown pass. And now here they are needing just a field goal. They put it in his hands and he makes a great throw. And, and that's a great point and it's a great job by Eli Manning. For Eli Manning who is six for eight over the last two drives. Giants have never led in this game. And Eli Manning could erase all the headlines. It's drones and they just let him walk into the end zone. So there's the good news for the Giants. They take their first lead in the day. Eight runs, six passes. Fifteenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Giants. Amani Toomer. And a brilliant drive engineered by Manning. Yeah, and I don't want to over, overstate this drive, Joe, by any means, but... You know, that's a heck of a job right there by Eli Manning, as you said, directing this drive, getting him down here into a position to throw the touchdown pass, and, you know, who knows, whatever happens, but we may be looking back at some point in time on this drive for Eli Manning and say, you know what, that's when he really grew up.
Palmer, touchdown New York. What a drive put together by Manning. Again here tonight at Tampa Bay and at Dallas, and that is manage the game and move the ball with precision. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Let's go get it. Hey, Fitz. Thank you, man. I love you. Thank you. Let me get you one. Let me get you one. Eli Manning is the quarterback of just the second NFC wild card team to go to the Super Bowl in the first in 32 years. The only other one to do it, the 75 Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. on their last two drives. They can't do that this time around. Manning gets the playoff in time. Throws over the middle, wide open! His intended receiver is Steve Smith, and Smith has a first down. Third and goal from the four. All right, a little jump ball to 17, maybe. He's out there all by himself, one-on-one. -on -one. Holding, throwing, and so touchdown! Kevin Boss, the tight end. pressure he can't step into it at all he's got pressure in his face I, I can't talk about the quality of that delivery by Eli Manning under that kind of pressure Manning with a pass touchdown to Kevin Boss. The Giants finally score in the red zone and take the lead with 3.07 remaining in the fourth. with Mike Carey. Big call too. First down or first and 20. There are two fouls on the play, both on the offense. Personal foul, Ledger, and number 80 is declined. Holding by the offense on the 69 is accepted. Ten yards, still first down. Second and 18. Crowd in full throat. All 105,000. Manning pressure. Throws on the run. And that's caught by Derek Hagan. So Hagan. 
Hagan getting to play in the game at this point. And if they don't make a first down here, there is going to be a very tough decision for Tom Coughlin to make. Do you go for it on fourth down? Do you put it away? Use your two timeouts and hope to stop it. He hopes it's moved. He hopes they can complete one here. And they do. So we'll never know the answer to that. Because it's caught by Steve Smith up at the 39-yard line. So they can milk a little bit of the clock on their way down the field. Running it's on the two timeouts. And that pass is caught. And then it is dropped from the 40. And that'll be a first down, and that is caught by Kevin Boss, the tight end. He's tackled by Sensible, and the ball is now in Cowboy territory, ticking down to 115 left. Kevin Boss, what he lacks for quickness, is pretty good in the open field once he gets running and just ran away from Sensible there. From the 47, four-man rush. Manning throws, caught, stopped at the 41. Is Smith by Jenkins. Eli totally under control. This looks like he's so comfortable in this situation, and we certainly have seen this one before. First down away from field goal range, and not even throwing that pass is high. There. Third down, four. From the 41. They're coming. So a first down with half a minute to go. And at the 33-yard line, you're now looking at about a 51-yard field goal. Again, the Giants with two timeouts. Manning over the middle, and that gets him clearly within range for times. As Steve Smith makes the catch, and they stop the clock with 13 seconds remaining in the fourth period. I'll tell you what, Eli Manning is just putting on a show out here. First down, Giants. in that situation and he had to realize what it was. Steve Smith then picking up the big first down and getting him a lock in field goal range. <laughs> Everybody's hard. <laughs> Mother and wife and it's not over yet. Falcons 23. Back shoulder throw by Eli Manning. Again, we've seen it time and time again in this game where the corners for the Atlanta Falcons are in position to make a play, but they have trouble when the ball gets there. It has been 47 years since a Giants quarterback has thrown as many as 30 touchdown passes in a season. Manningham, 85 yards. 
30 touchdowns for Eli Manning. And we're tied at Lambeau Field. Moments ago, prior to the Arizona Challenge. So each team with two tough outs remaining. Giants trail by 10. As Manning throws, and it's caught by Nix. Out of the 29-yard line for a gain of nine, Patrick Peterson to tackle. And we'll get into a little bit of an up-tempo offense here for the Giants with this being a two-possession game right now. it down to the 20 and now he'll use one of his two remaining timeouts run the ball and then still have time to get the field goal team on Instead, Manning throws for the touchdown. Jake Ballard has set it up. He's in for the touchdown for the Giants. And Eli Manning does take his team down the field on the road at Foxborough, and he gets him into the end zone. And this will be a big one for Tom Coughlin and the Giants. You know what, we've talked a number of times, not just today, about Eli Manning with his momentum going backward, kind of throwing off that back foot. He didn't step into that throw, but he delivered a strike to Jake Ballard, put it in a perfect spot. The Patriots had won 20 straight at home during the regular season, 18 straight against the NFC, dating back to 0-2 and a loss to Green Bay. And Tom Brady had won 31 straight here at home during the regular season. And now he and the Patriots are 12 seconds away from a loss. So the 49ers are going to be expecting some type of hard count to draw them off sides. Throwing off his back foot, and this pass is caught. 18 yards on fourth and six. And Eli Manning delivers a strike with Ray McDonald right in his face. I mean, a corner route by Mario Manning, an excellent route against the safety, Dante Whitner. But Eli Manning, number 91, Ray McDonald, is going to be right in his face, and Eli lays it out there perfectly. Here it is, you're going to see, and you're going to see the pressure inside by Ray McDonald right in Eli's face. 
and a nice throw. Fourth down. Manning, wide open and caught is Victor Cruz. Another fourth down conversion. Cruz good for 10. Good time by Eli Manning. Eli wasn't looking anywhere else. He knew as soon as the ball was snapped, the coverage that he had, and it was imperative that Victor Cruz went on the route, and he did. And now the Giants, who are two for two this season, going for two, have got to convert to tie this game. If they were in this situation. Here we go. Hand off to where? Tie game. But Eli Manning got his team down the field in a drive that started at the Giants 31. Interesting throw by Coughlin here, fourth and three, and they're going to go for it at the 37-yard line. And Manning on a fourth down is able to convert as the catch is made at the 22-yard line by Manningham. And if the Giants win, you look back at that as the key play. 15 yards on a fourth and three. Down by 12. Have two timeouts. Here goes Eli in the fourth quarter. He's got to do it big now. Number 31 stepping away from Butler throwing. And it's caught gain of nine. Next number five of the Giants. Six wins this year have been fourth quarter comebacks led by Eli. Third down and one from the 40. Looks again. Backing away, throwing. It floats and it is caught. Eli Manning is doing the impossible again. And Eli got it done in the clutch one more time in hopes of saving the Giants season. From the 42. Here comes the blitz. Pick it up. Pass is caught. This is Ballard. And he already has the ball to the 38-yard line. And that's going to pick us down to the two-minute warning. And now the two-point conversion, and it is a big one. So trying to make it three. Ricky's the mic, meaning they think that he could blitz. Instead, they give it to DJ Ware, and he is able to work his way into the end zone to make it a three-point lead. Now, this is as good a quarterback performance in the clutch with the season on the line as I have seen in a long, long time. 
Manningham drops what should have been the go-ahead touchdown. Doesn't phase Eli Manning. I don't think anything phases Eli Manning. Comes right back and does it again. He has been a one-man team this year. Now going potentially into the playoffs. The Dallas timeouts have superseded Newman on the field in injury. So the Cowboys have got a one-time out, and they go right to work on that side, and it's Hakeem Nix for the touchdown. 15 fourth-quarter touchdowns for number 10. Yeah, now he's on the other side of Peyton Manning in the record books. He's on the top side of it. I tell you, they were almost done. They were in Dallas, down 12 with under six minutes to go, and Eli pieced together a remarkable comeback. Brought in midseason to short things up in middle linebacker, and with under seven to play. Play action, Manning slings it. Touchdown, Manningham. And a quick strike after the takeaway. A four-yard touchdown throw, and Eli Manning with three touchdown passes on the afternoon and evening. Play action, they get the linebackers up. A.J. Hawk is the only guy then who can really make a play on that underneath, but Eli waits for Manningham to get to the next window, and he's got a step then on Tremont Williams, and a great throw by Eli Manning. but it was because of Eli keeping the play alive and I've said it a lot of times when Eli has time and he can buy time he can get through every receiver on the field and Ahmad Bradshaw was the right foot sent New York to the Super Bowl two timeouts left man finds Bradshaw room to run Ahmad Bradshaw had that room closed down and a nice play is made by Tremaine Brock with 32 seconds left, timeout taken by the Giants. This is amazing by Eli Manning in the pocket. You know, he is under duress, and to beat, you cannot take a sack in that situation. And not only does he not take a sack, with Alden Smith draped over him, he's able to find Ahmad Bradshaw underneath. Uncanny, his ability in the pocket to get the ball out. He's got a shoulder pad hanging out, grass in his face mask, his helmet on hot guy and he still knows to call the timeout one left his jersey's halfway ripped off his shoulder pad and his chin strap is on his nose but he was still cool and calm and collective man can he do it again
200 career giant touchdown passes and to set a new giant record at Ty Sims. Has it by himself right now and the Giants lead 38 to 10.
paraphrase the immortal words of Rodney Dangerfield, Eli gets no respect. Perhaps a third Super Bowl MVP is needed.